enlighten ourselves with the life of St. Augustine of Hippo. St. Augustine of Hippo was born on 13 November 354 at Hippo Regis, Rome. He was a very curious young boy interested in various religions. He shifted between three religions after finally finding the truth in Christianity. His writings influenced the development of Western philosophy and Western Christianity. He is viewed as one of the most important church fathers of the Latin church in the patristic period. He converted to Christianity at the age of 31 after first reading the life of Antony of the desert. As Augustine later put it, his conversion was prompted by hearing a child's voice say, take up and read. After converting to Christianity, Augustine turned against his profession as a rhetoric professor in order to devote more time to preaching. In 391, Augustine was ordained a priest in Hippo Regis, Algeria. He preached around 6,000 to 10,000 sermons throughout his life. However, there are only about 500 sermons that are accessible today. Some of his sermons would last over an hour and he would preach multiple times throughout a given week. He found immense happiness and felt like he was in heaven while he preached. In 395, he was made co-adjutor Bishop of Hippo and became full bishop shortly thereafter. Hence the name Augustine of Hippo and he gave his complete property to the Church of the Gastus. When serving as the Bishop of Hippo, his goal was to minister to the individuals in his congregation and he would choose the passages that the Church was to read every week. As a Bishop, he felt it was his responsibility to interpret the Bible. Shortly before Augustine's death, the Vandals, a Germanic tribe, invaded Hippo Regis. The Vandals besieged Hippo in the spring of 430 when Augustine entered his final illness. According to Poseidus, one of the few miracles attributed to Augustus happened during the siege. He healed an ill man. Shortly after his death, the Vandals lifted the siege of Hippo out of respect for him. But they returned soon after and burned the city. They destroyed all but Augustine's cathedral and library which they left untouched. St. Augustine was canonized by popular acclaim and later recognized as a doctor of the church in 1928 by Pope Boniface VIII. So let's pray that we may find joy in the word of God.